Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Tubby of the Nerdy Bird site and the antidote.com bringing you another live exclusive interview courtesy of Kicking the Real. I have a very special guest joining us today. What's going on, Big California? I'm just chilling, man. Glad to be here, excited, you know, of all the things we got going on. So happy to have you. We appreciate you for taking time out of your busy schedule to sit down and kick the reel with us. I know that you have a lot to tell. It's a lot of history. So let's kind of get into, first of all, how you fell in love with music. Oh, uh, well, I actually been doing music since I was probably about like five years old. Nice. Yeah, I've been in the music game for a long time. Uh, my uncle used to make beats and stuff, you know, so he the one first one that passed me to mic, my uncle Gregory, rest in peace, you know, so if you know, fell in love with music there, always had an ear for music, you know, started, you know, just kept doing, kept kept writing, exercising the skills, got better as time went by. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I'm from Los Angeles, California, born and raised, you know, um, my daddy from the south, my mama from the west, so that's how I'm here in Baton Rouge, you know, I got family that's down dope. here, father from here, so... You know, it's the Southwest Connection. That's the name of the label, Southwest Connection Entertainment. Yeah, I'll get yeah. into that. Make sure you check that yeah, out. Check out Southwest Connection Entertainment for sure. You know, it's the Southwest Connection. You know, my daddy from the South, mama from the West. So it's in the bloodline. You know what I mean? Perfect branding. It's genius. Yeah. Tell them where they can follow you on social media uh, to lock in and get all the exclusive details on everything you have going on. Uh, you can follow me on um, Instagram at Southwest Connection ENT. Uh, and my clothing line, Fort Filament Graffiti Apparel. You know, fourth element graffiti apparel. You know, your five elements of hip hop. Graffiti is the fifth element of hip hop. So nice. that's what made me start uh, fourth element graffiti apparel. You know, um, you can follow follow that on Instagram as well. That's fourth underscore element underscore graffiti underscore apparel on Instagram. And um, my Facebook is uh, up under my real name, which is Willie James. You can follow me on Facebook at Willie James. You know. Get into the mix, y'all. Make sure y'all check out all the great stuff that he has going on. That's really dope that you have your hands in some yeah. of these things as a creative. Right. So let's kind of get into transitioning and being able to have those connections musically. How do you think being able to go from the West Coast back to the South helps embody your sound and style as an artist? Well, that was like one of the power moves that I uh, came up with after I, you know, I just came home from doing 13 years in federal prison. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm just getting out. I've been out like two and a half years now so you know it was one of my visions while i was locked up or putting a plan together as far as blending both of the sounds together you know what i'm saying because i always been influenced by the music when i do come south when i come down here over the years from growing up you know i always grew up on you know all your little uh bootsy and everybody Turn you know what I'm saying? That was, yeah, that was, was doing their thing down here yeah <laughs> you, believe, you know so you know uh being an artist, you know what I'm saying, look, we got both sides, you know what I'm saying, to me. So I wanted to come down here, link up with some producers and stuff from the South, you know what I'm saying, see how we can get the Southwest Connect sound, you know what I'm saying, to blend. And it covers more territory as far as musically because, you know, every uh, geographical area has their own sound. You right. know what I'm saying? Like the West Coast has their own sound. The South got their own sound. The East Coast got its own sound, you know, and Houston got their own sound and they're part of the South, but they still have their own sound. Right. You know what I'm saying? So therefore... You know, I came down here to, you know, push the music because there's a lot of West Coast artists that's nice and got a buzz back home, but you don't hear them in the South. Of course. You know what I'm saying? So my vision was, you know, come in the South, spread my music through the South. You know, I'm from the West, so eventually it's going to move back West and it's just going to come together. Very nice, whole, you know? very nice. Very yeah. nice. Now, transitioning, like growing up, having that time of incarceration and then, you know, finding the growth in your rehabilitation state. How has that grown you as a writer? Well, um, at some point, you know, it was like, it really made me more of a businessman. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It grew me into a businessman as far as the time of being doing research and the knowledge of it. And the passion for music has always been there, been very creative as far as writing songs and stuff like that. And um, But as I got older, you know what I'm saying? It was like the music game was changing a lot. Right. You know, so it really like grew me into a more of a CEO and a more of a businessman to, to, to put out different businesses that, that pertain to hip hop as well as, you know, just business in a whole. Right. And um, as far as me with music, as far as the West Coast, you know, my hood was fuel, filled with, uh, you know, um, artists, you know, like my homeboys, uh, South Central Cartel, Havoc and Prodigy. Shout out to Havoc and Prodigy yeah. from South Central Cartel. One of my homeboys is LV. LV is the one that did the song with Coolio, Gangsta's Paradise. Nice. Uh, Coolio, uh, LV is the one singing on, on that track. Um, 
Uh, so shout out to my homie LV, you know, so I always been back and forth to the studio. You know, I've been in the studio with a lot of other West Coast artists. One of my homies, Baby Speed, you know, he kept me when I was, you know, growing up in the hood. You know, L.A., if you know anything about Los Angeles, you know, it's the gang capital of the world. Right. So for sure, I was, you know, involved with the, with the gang stuff. I'm a crip, you know what I'm saying, from off the east side of Los Angeles, the hood called 87 Gangsta Crip. I come from that area there. So, you know, in my hood, we had those those artists that come up out of my hood. Right. So, uh, But I always networked with other artists from, from the city of Los Angeles, you know. And um, one of my dudes, like my guy, just, I told you, baby, Speedy always kept me in, in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Very nice. Kept you practicing. Yeah, kept me, kept me, <laughs> kept me from doing wrong in the hood. It kept me trying to, kept me sheltered in the studio. Yeah. Now, because you've come into a place where you're embodying two sounds and you're actually creating a sound. Right. If you had to say there was a specific type of genre, a type of music you make, could you say? Well... I make conscious music, you know what I'm saying? Hardcore music, raw music, you know what I'm saying? That pertains to real life situations and in, in, in the streets, you know. But at the same time, I write r and I'm just an all universal writer, you know what I'm saying? I can, nice. I can tap into to whatever, you know. Very nice. Now, when you think about the constructiveness of music and how you, the dynamics of it have changed, right. moving forward into 2020, what are some things that you're looking to do in business ventures moving forward? Uh, well, right now, I got several different business ventures I'm doing right now, you know. Um, I got the record label, you know, Southwest Connection Entertainment as well, you know. Um, we have Fourth Element Graffiti Apparel, you know what I'm saying? So I really jumped into, you know, the, the clothing line as far as Fourth Element Graffiti Apparel because I seen that it wasn't marketed as far as being an element of hip hop. Right. People seem to forget that, and some of the young artists don't even know they five elements of hip hop. You know what I mean? So therefore, for me, looking at the music game and following the music game for all these years, you know, I was like, I want to bring something to the table that can give somebody some substance. Because I like to right. make music with substance, got a, got a meaning to it, and it's conscious, you know what I mean? And even put a clothing line out there that has substance. Right. You know what I'm saying? So what you're wearing... And, you know, we got several different graffiti legends, you know what I'm saying, with major artwork. You know, the new shoes that be coming out with all these different colors, you really can't find no shirts and stuff to go to them. Well, in graffiti, you find all those multiple colors. Very you nice. You know what I mean? So we're trying to incorporate that into our into our, into our our clothing. You know? That's dope. And um, so you can always have something to find to match what you get. Get your fresh on. Make yeah. sure you check that out so you can get yeah. your fresh on. He's looking out for you so you can make sure you got the gear to match the fly kicks. kicks. Ain't no question, you know. Because, uh, you know, when I, how I grew up, that's what, we, that's what what it was all about you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Stand fly, you know you gotta, you gotta be fresh yeah, you gotta be fresh and um so i got the clothing line i got the record label you know i got uh another thing where i got a uh a guy that i met since i've been down here in baton rouge uh that write code and i'm trying to get a um a uh, uh educational uh app made for the kids because oh, i got so. a, i got a uh, i got a uh it's a duck called Quas, and it stands for Quiz a Smart Kid. So what I'm doing is uh, making a gaming app for the for the for like pre K to like sixth grade. Okay. You know uh, where they can like it's gonna be like a gaming app where I have Quas and a little buggy where they can go hit little blocks. Might say the ABCs to teach the kids the ABCs oh, very nice. and stuff like that. Love the concept. And um, you know we're trying to get Quas learning camps and um, um eventually get them made out of a mascot where we take Quas to the schools. He gonna have a song because you know kids like to do music too. Of course. So but we educating the kids to become smart kids and and, and, and and to become smart. You know what I'm saying? So that's the whole push behind Quest. That's very dope, you guys. And yeah. y'all know I am here for the babies. Anything that helps grow our youth, generational wealth, education, I am here for it. That is so dope. Right. Y'all, don't be trying to steal his ideas either. Oh, no. Everything copyrighted and we, we legal, you know Not what I mean? Right now. So therefore... Uh, yeah, businesses, man, that's my whole thing, the LLCs and corporations, you know. And at the beginning of the year, I'm also I'm starting a medical transportation business called BR Cares, you know. So, so y'all be on the lookout for that. You're going to be Very sending nice. the trucks out here and sending your flyers in all your little spots. So uh, y'all make sure y'all support the movement if you need somebody. And it's not just going to be for just medical. Um, we, 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 we can take people to, you know, if you need to... If you're having a baby and you got no right. transportation and go to the doctor, you know, you call us, we pick you up, make sure you make those appointments. Right. That, that's very nice. Yeah. Basically pouring back into our community and making sure that same, this yeah, generation you know, has what they need. That's very yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, to make it, you know, that's what it's all about. Very awesome, like big business all the oh, way yeah, around. Big business, you know. Um, I, that's all. I, when I when I was locked up, I studied just nothing but business. You know, you got to have more assets than liabilities. So right. that's what I'm what I'm putting out here. Uh, more assets than liabilities for myself as far as companies. And um, you know, right now, so we're making uh, 
a couple more things that we trying to do. And this is Baton Rouge right now, so y'all stay tuned to what we got going on right now. I'm mean, I'm making a uh, opening up one of your one of your after hours down here. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because you know in LA we have a lot of after hours that you can go to. You know, it might not be all the way. You know, like your like your like your regular right. strip club, but you know, here it is. I'm giving that. I'm putting that out here the uh, after hours. You know, but it's gonna be a a, a, a guest list only type of uh, oh, environment. Upscale. Yeah, a little 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 more upscale. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be in the hood. But at the same time, to get in a place, you just can't walk up to it and right. just come through the door. Right. It's not like that. No. Right. That's real, though. That's how you keep everything. Yeah, I need everything, to be, keep you know, everything on an exclusive Yeah, tip. keep the stuff exclusive because I'm an exclusive type of guy. So That's I like to have up. stuff exclusive. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? So, yeah, y'all be looking out for that right now. We up here networking right now. And that's one of the reasons why I pass through, you know, the network and get at some of the girls because, you know, I had some of the girls do my bachelor party for my wedding and I'm really turned up. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you know. Y'all look out for that bad rules, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to know somebody to know somebody to get up in there. But uh, at the same time, it's going to be live, though. Context for context. Yeah, you got to know somebody. That's the way the world works. You got to know somebody <laughs> that knows somebody. To, yeah. get a, to get in the mix. Get but the mix, make sure yeah. you stay tuned because you might know somebody yeah. that knows somebody. Yeah. That knows somebody. That knows somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That's what we about. Now, music-wise, is there anything out right now that they should be checking out or anything yeah, that you'll be putting I, well, out soon? Um, I actually dropped the album when I got out called Back Reincarnated. Okay. Um, but I was on my little Tupac thing on that album. So I really was, it was really like a paying homage to the big homie. You know what I'm saying? Because... Uh, that's one of our West Coast legends, and that was one of my idols growing right, up, right. and one of my big homies that I that I was fond of. So, uh, yeah, the Back Reincarnated album, you know, what I'm saying is out right now. I'm actually working on another uh, mixtape. Uh, well, the Back Reincarnated is a mixtape as well, and I'm working on Raw Talent mixtape, and then I got my uh, album that's gonna come out, uh, and it's called Rubber Band Grip. You know, okay, what I mean? that's yeah. dope. So, all right, now is there any like, all right, I'm going for the exclusive, y'all. I be trying, I don't get them all the time. Yeah production on a new project give us something any features um well right now we're in the process of networking with some artists we just been really seeing what's out here some you know right. serenading the streets seeing what's who's 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 fire yeah who's fire and um you know we'll just a couple of features on that we don't really have no specific names right now but we've just been looking you know what i'm saying we've been looking for some different projects it's like some stuff we attend to at a certain time but yeah we can make sure we get you your product right. and um as far as with the medical transportation business you know you need some transportation for job interviews anything that you need you just holler at us and we'll come through and help you out that's love you know what i mean that's love y'all i'm telling y'all he, he got everything on lock he's trying to make sure that the community is growing and that that's so legit right right you know it's about uh, prosperity you know what i'm saying and what it takes to get there you know you got to put in that hard work and dedication very much so now yeah. is there anybody that you want to show love to that's kind of been supporting you on your journey oh uh, yeah one one of one of my homies you know like uh quarter earlier from the, from the great group south central cartel uh, my homie Big Prodigy, you know okay. what I'm saying? I got to shout Big Prodigy out, and you know Big Prodigy, you know, you've been rocking with a nigga for a long time, man. I appreciate him and everything he has done for me this far. Even my homie LV as well. They always, you know what I'm saying, never charge me studio time. Let me come rock out, do my thing, help me get better with my craft. But at the same time, it's always been business. But as his homie showing me that homie love, he never, ever, ever, you know what I'm that's saying? That's real. He just helped me, kept me in the studio, yeah. That's love, y'all. Make sure you tune in, like, subscribe, follow, share, comment below. Let us know how you feel about this interview and others. Also, make sure you check out Big California. Get into the businesses. Make sure you rate them. Let us know what's popping. Comment below if you're feeling what he has going on. We want to hear from you. Now, I'm in the mix. Record label. Artist sign right now that we should be checking out. Yeah, I got. Actually, I'm working on a couple artists right now. One of my dudes, B. He from Baton Rouge. Right. He nice right now. And I'm um I'm actually working with him right now. And I'm trying to get, you know, some, some music on him recorded. Okay. And I got a couple other little younger cats. But we, you know, 
we trying to see how we going to work them into the, yeah, work them into the thing. Because my thing is, and we looking for any artists, you know what I'm saying? All artists are welcome to DM me, you know what I'm saying? You got, but my thing about it is this, because you can come across an artist and then you can let an artist go right. within no time if they're not hardworking and dedicated. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I need serious people that's with a vision, you know what I'm saying? Because everything in, in this music game or any business, you got to have vision. You got to have vision for yourself and you got to have vision for your business. Right. You know what I mean? So we need people that's focused. We got need people that's willing to get in here and grind. Very you know much I mean? so. Now, in a DM, is there something specific that you'd like to receive? And a lot of people just hit you up like, hey, check me out. I'm dope. Sign me. Uh, what information are you looking for? Well, you know, make sure you send us your email address. That's okay. what, you know, your email address. And my email address is j.willie28 at yahoo.com. Run that back. I repeat, you know, j.willie. 28 at yahoo.com you can always uh get get at me through my email and um so we want full songs you know what i'm saying full songs even if you're a comedian hit me up because this is right. an entertainment company i'm not just with just music i'm with entertainment period right you know what i'm saying that's what we bring to the table you're an actor you whatever you, you do you know what i'm saying bring that to the table let us know let us look at you that's what's up, you guys. He's laying it out, out here for you. Opportunities after opportunities. All you have to do is be serious about what you're doing. Have a game plan and hit him up ready to work. And it might be your lucky day. He might put you up on some game. Yeah. Out here for Go ahead. And shout, shout out to my dude, Joe. You know what I'm saying? I do want to shout out Joe, man. That's my dude. I love. And uh, and, 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 and dope. You know what I'm saying? They've been doing their thing. Y'all make sure y'all follow the antidote. Y'all make sure y'all rock with them. You know what I mean? Get your daily fix all day. Yes, sir. <laughs> Now, before we get ready to wrap up, I just want to say it's been awesome to vibe with you. You guys, make sure you check out the project. Be on the lookout for all of the upcoming projects and works that he has going on. Support his businesses. Help him continue to flourish and grow as he continues to pour back into our community and our youth. I'm really excited about the kids app. I'm like, uh, I'm like, uh, that's dope. And uh, another, uh, another thing, y'all go check out my boy Problem. Okay. Um, on my brother record label Diamond Lane, uh, they all over the internet. He got the song with Rich Homie Quan walk through. So y'all go support uh, Diamond Lane movement with Problem. Um, and um, yeah, they doing big things right now. So y'all make sure y'all go follow their artists. Show some love before we get ready to wrap up. Any advice for upcoming artists that are trying to get into the game? How do they stay level headed and focused? Uh, well, I, what I can say uh, about the music industry is. Music is all about marketing and promoting. Right. Once you dig into the marketing and promoting side, then that's when you can find yourself successful in the music industry. Because there's a million rappers and everybody makes music. Some make all right music, some make great music. Right. But it doesn't matter if it's all right music and it doesn't matter if it's great music. It's about the marketing and promoting behind that music. That's how artists get broke is you're marketing and promoting. You know, you got to promote yourself. You got to, I see a lot of, Artists make CDs and they stand out on the corners and they selling their CDs. You got to get the stuff away, man. Right. Give it away because that is part of your promotion. That is part of marketing yourself. That is part of getting your sound out there for everybody to hear you. Because right now the game is just operating off shows. You know what I'm saying? Shows is where the money at. So when people, is, if your music is in the street and, and you hear cars riding by banging your music, then people going to want to see you perform that music. Right. So that's where, that's where your money come in at. You know what I'm saying? Once you build you a following. So I would say the most part of this game is marketing and promoting as far as music goes. Very nice, you guys. Very key pieces of advice there. Make sure you play them back. Write them down. Store them for later. You might need them for your success tips. Very great advice. You guys, it's been a pleasure to sit down and chat with the big homie. Yeah, nice to chat with you, too. Is there anything else you want to say or anybody else you need to give some love to before we wrap up? Uh, well, I would just want to give a shout out to Baton Rouge as a whole. NLA stand up, you know, the east, the west side. You know, hey. Compton, Watts, Long Beach, South Central, all the way to the Bay. Um, oh, yeah, shout out Sebo. Shout out to my boy, uh, my boy Killer Tay. You know what I'm saying? They've been in the music game forever. And I'm with some of my real close friends. I like your love, too. Yeah. That's what's up, you guys. Again, I'm going to keep on saying it. Tune in, like, subscribe, follow, share, tag a friend, tag your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your auntie. I don't care. Make sure this video gets all the proper likes it deserves. It's your girl Tubby with the big homie, Big California, wrapping up another episode of Kicking the Real. Kicking and the we're real. out. We're out.